the circuit right here, this power, that's enough to stop your heart. We've got a real mess here. This wall's been torn out. Everything needs a new home. All of it. I have to trace it out. And I'm going to show you how, in simple fashion, to get all of this going in the right direction. So what I've got going on here is an old-timey fan control. That's a heater, light, night light, vent. Four options. This thing's loaded, but it's out. It's old, it's dated, it's got 20 years on it. I've traced this wiring out. The hot feed has already been removed from this box. It's long gone. So these two go into the fan. They're dead to me. Power is disconnected. Always going to double check, triple check. Good to go. Let's cut it out. Rock and roll. If there's any information to be had, I'm going to have a Sharpie on hand and I'm going to be labeling as I go so that I retain every piece of evidence. One of the missions here is to get this wiring out of this bulkhead, out of this header, because the header is being upgraded. It's currently undersized for what it's carrying. Nice and tight, nice and tight. There it is. Bit by bit. Peek it out, clean it up. Getting up here on the exhaust fan, we're gonna clip that zip tie loose because I wanna preserve this duct for later use. It's up and out of the way. The wiring's free and dead. And now, I'm gonna go to town on these, there's three nails mounting this fan in on either side. I think that's it. We'll get into it here. I use my onboard pry bar. Jam it in there. Mm, that's it. Create a little space, out, done. I don't do a lot of demo, demolition, but when you do, uh, it's fun. All right, all right, looking pretty good. Ah! Out with the old. Mm. Woo! Get this out of the workspace. All right, check this out. <clears throat> I highly don't recommend this. Wait for it. Whoo! That's one way to find a breaker. That line is now dead. We're gonna double check. It is in fact dead. We gotta get, get it out of here and get it pulled back. I believe that this is a hot feed, maybe even a home run. So I'm gonna label it hot until I have better information There it is, nice clear label. Let's get it out of here. Best tool to pull these old metal staples out is a pair of diagonal cutters. Pinch the base of that metal staple and pry it out. <clears throat> Good swift action. Uh, kinetic friction is less than static friction. So get that thing moving and don't stop. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, I wanna, I wanna make it accessible for future. I wanna retain the full wire length that I can in case it will reach the new destination. I'm gonna recap it so that if that breaker gets thrown, it's dead. I don't know for sure if it's a 120 or 240. So it could be that that white is not neutral. It could be it's landed on a two-pole breaker. So I'm gonna salvage a wire nut for temporary use here. 
I'm gonna cap both black and white just in case. Never underestimate your opponent. Coil it up. I'm not even gonna bother with tape. I'm gonna just take that wire, wrap it around there, get it up and out of the way. There. Let's go. All right, we're just gonna keep testing. Oh, right there. That is live. All right, so we've got another circuit coming to the bathroom. First one's off, second one's live. A circuit right here, this power, that's enough to stop your heart. So we're, we're gonna do this the proper way. We're going to identify the breaker, go shut it off. Here's the breaker panel. Master bath, that do it? All right, double check, double check. Boom, everything, dead. We could have more than one circuit in this box, we don't know, be thorough. At this point, <clears throat> we're gonna snip all this out of the way. We're not gonna take the time to disentangle each one of these switches. We know the purpose of the wire. That's a hot feed that we need to refeed. This one right here, it's going across the ceiling and down the wall and feeding a receptacle so that needs to be a hot so I'm gonna cut that loose and before I let go of it and lose track of it I'm gonna go ahead and label it up above the strip strip uh, you know I'm gonna strip that 10 to 12 inches back at the end there so I'm gonna label this hot and I'm gonna confirm that that is closet plug but I'm gonna put it on here closet receptacle so how do we confirm that real quick? We, we don't want to operate on assumptions. Here we go, let's go ahead and take that, strip it back. We're gonna put a tester on it real quick. Hot to neutral, check here. Strip that, strip that, <clears throat> boom. Pull out a multimeter, you can buy a $10 multimeter that will give you uh, proper results. I recommend something just a little bit better for more resilience. A cheap multimeter gets blown out pretty easy, easily and doesn't have any built-in protections. So what I'm doing right now is I've got it on resistance. That's ohms. And it's got a little toner. When connection is made, that's the tone. Where else could it be going? Switched outlet. Or, it was funky. All right, that's our outlet. We got it. So that's coming out of our header. And again, in case it would get backfed, which is not likely, but isn't out of the question either, we're going to go ahead and put a wire nut on that. I'm gonna steal this wire nut right here. And it is going to a 120 volt outlet. So we have a good level of confidence that that's what we wanna cap off right there. It's labeled and now it's coiled up out of the way until we're ready to start putting things back together. I wanna to keep it nice and visible so we don't lose track. All right, now for these two. See, we have a switch bank, three switches and a plug. These two are both appearing to be switch legs that go across the room. I'm gonna cut them loose and trace it out. Ooh, look at that. I didn't notice this initially. That's a number 14 on a 20 amp circuit. That's undersized. We're definitely gonna get rid of that 14 gauge wire completely. Pop that staple free again. Grab with the dikes. Ooh. There it is. There it is. Working across the room here.
get your ladder stabilized. Come to that rat's nest. Look at that beauty. Woo wee! Love it. Every remodel job needs a good, good rat's nest. Wow. Take a look at this. Oh my goodness. See that right there? Wow. Beautiful. That right there is a ground wire made up to a hot conductor. I have no idea why they did that. That's terrible. That's like potential death, death trap. Love it. I'm going to go ahead and cut that free. Get it out of here. Same circuit. We already know it's dead. Whoo! Get that out of there. All right. Here we go. I'm not going to belabor taking joints apart and reusing, saving, salvaging little bits of wire. Pull this out of here. Still don't know the exact purpose and intention of this wire, but I'm just going to systematically follow it until I do. Don't chase down too many trails at one time. So we're coming out of this junction box and we've got Ah, oh, there it is. Look at there. There's the end of that 14 gauge wire. You can tell it's a much more pliable, thinner, lightweight feel. Gone. Let's keep going. Here it is. So that's coming out. Whew. There it is. We're going to keep simplifying the equation. As we uncover what's taking place, get this out of here. The fewer wires you're looking at, the less you have to mentally track. Dispel the mystery. Simplify the complexity. All right. I think that right there, my friends, is our home run. It's coming, it's leaving the bathroom, and it's coming in the direction of the panel. We're going to label it before we lose track of what's happening here. We can always remove the label if it's not right, but I'm going to say HR. I'm going to label it a couple different places. HR, home run. Coming from the panel. Check out our video on that. And now what we're going to do, strip it back, make it safe, and turn the breaker on to see if that indeed gets energized. And we don't have certainty at this point that it doesn't stop somewhere else along the way. It could be utilized for the laundry room where the panel is located or what have you. But let's give it a shot. Throw the breaker, Chris! There it is. Boom. Energized. You can turn it back off. So we've established the home run to the bathroom. It's one of two. That second one was to a heater vent fan combination. We've labeled it. We've tucked it out of the way. We've got one more wire from our beautiful rat's nest that's hanging out here. It's coming to the exhaust fan over the toilet. Pull that out. Ah, oh, I love getting rid of this stuff. We're going to pull the exhaust fan down. It's time to go. Get rid of the vent first. I always recommend securing your vents with more than just tape. Zip ties or hose clamps, phenomenal. Uh -huh. Let's do it. Making a mess. Hello. How about that hammer, Kale? Do you see it anywhere? Set it down. Can you lock it down? Ah, ah, there it goes. Mm. Ah, appreciate it. Pull those out as they come. Look at that. Ten penny nails to hold the bath fan on. Woo!
All right, there it is. All right, I found the end of it here. One staple. Just need to loosen it up, slip the wire out, watch your eyes. Woo! Here it goes. Boom. In this situation, everything had to go. We've got the power off, we've got the home runs pulled out, vanities, outlets, everything's being relocated, and we had substandard wiring. So we've got it cleaned up, blank slate, ready to start putting it back together in the proper location in a code compliant manner. Subscribe below to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money, and watch this next video for more about putting it back together.